right? Yeah. Okay, this is our last session on lesson 24. Okay, it says uh, apply it. We need to create, justify, and explain. So it says complete these problems on your own. Let's do them together. First it says draw an area model or number line to show five eights. Okay, an area model, I can do this. And divide it into how many sections? Eight of them. And I need to shade in how many? Five. I can do that. So I can do this. Okay. Or it says I can do a what? No. Or or a circle too, like a five. But what else I could use? What else I could use? A number line. Okay. So this one, one, wait, whoops, ah, this is zero, this is one, and it should be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Roughly, right? If I'm going to do eight, I'm going to need seven lines. And it says, explain how to find a lesser fraction than this with the same denominator and give an example. So I need to find five eights. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So this is five eights. Okay. How would I know how to find a fraction that's less than that? Okay. Count less. Count less. So what's What's less than five eighths? Four, four eighths, which is right next door, right? Less than that? Three eighths. Less than that? Two eighths. And less than that? One eighths. And then they actually could tell you that you could put zero eighths right there. So one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, or four eighths are actually less than five eighths. So you could do it that way. Okay. Me personally, it's easier if I just do a number line. That way I can see everything. Now look at the loaf. It says Jason uh, Liana each bake a loaf of bread. Uh, Jace cuts uh, his loaf of bread in halves. That's this one. Okay. And Liana uh, cuts her loaf of bread in thirds. Like that. Okay. Jay says that their loaves show that a half I have right here okay I have okay is less than a third and here's a third is she right is a half less than a third is is this less than a third? Yes. yes, it is. Look, here's a half right here, and I'm gonna go straight down. There's still a little bit of uh, yellow that I shaded in. Okay. Uh, Liana says they do not. Who is correct? Well, yeah. Chase says their loaves show that one half is less than a third. That is correct. Okay. Says Mario paints two sixths of a wall in his bedroom. Uh, made, uh, paints uh, two fourths of a uh, of a wall in her bedroom. The two walls are the same size. So, who paints more of their wall? The denominator, the numerators are the same. Who? Mai. So remember what we talked about. So if I have a fraction where the, the numerators are the same, okay, that means the numbers at the top are the same, okay, the, the larger fraction, okay, has a, uh, a denominator that's less, just be thinking of the opposite, okay, I could use a model like this,
So two fourths, right? Okay, and then six. Like that. So here's two fourths. Roughly, it doesn't have to be per. And here's, here's two six. So here's two fourths, two sixths. Based on the diagram, who's larger? Two fourths. So who actually uh, paid in Laura for a walk? Okay, May Lynn. Right? So you notice that if, if, if my numerators are the same, okay, I have to look at the smaller denominator and that's the bigger fraction. Okay? Or I could use a model. This is a model of those two fractions. Okay. Are they perfect squares? Not really, but I did my best to get them all as perfect as possible. Okay. So number one, it says the side of each fraction is less or greater than 5 eighths. Okay. So 7 eighths, is that greater than 5 eighths or less than 5 eighths? What do you think? So here's 7 eighths. And here's 5 eighths. So is 7 eighths greater than this? Isn't 7 greater than 5? Yes, so it's greater than. Okay, how about 3 eighths? Is that less or greater? Less. 1 eighth? 8 over 8? Okay, because isn't 8 greater than 5? Plus, all the, all the denominators are the same, huh? I'm just looking at the number at the top. And how about six eighths? It says uh, uh, three friends were reading a book. Uh, Sophia reads uh, three six of the book, and I'm going to use three shapes. Okay, um, Bay read, read uh, one sixth of the book and Max read one third of the book. So, so I'm going to do one third and then divide these by six. They don't have to really be perfect, but close enough. Okay, so Sophia so read three, uh, three six, right? Here's three six. What else is three six called? A half. Yes, a half. Uh, Bay read one six. This is one six. Okay, and then uh, Max read one third. Okay, one third. So the question says, who read the who read less of the book, Bay or Shay? So this is B for Bay, uh, S for uh, Sophia, and M for Max. Okay, so who read less, Bay or Shay, or Sophia? Sorry. Yeah. Right. So, Sophia and one and uh, Bay. So one six and three six. Which was a le less? Bay. Okay. Who read more of the book? Who read more of the book? Bay or Max? Here's one sixth. No, no. It doesn't say Sophia. Bay or Max? Here's Bay or B. Let's call her that. And then here's Max. Max's piece. Who read more? Okay, Max did. And how did I solve this? I created models, didn't I? Yes. Could I use a number line too? Yes, I can. It just says which which statement is are true. Choose all. That means all of it. There's more than one answer. Okay. Is one fourth greater than a half? No. 
Not in this case. Here's a fourth. That's this. Here's a half. So is one fourth greater than this? No. So that can be true. Uh, three eighths is less than six eighths. Denominat denominators are the same. So is three less than six? Yes, that would be it. Three fourths is greater than three sixths. Here's uh, three fourths is this. And three sixths is also, also, the, also a name for a half, right? So is three fourths greater than three sixths? Excuse me? Yes. And then obviously you want to do the rest as well. Okay? Is four over four less than four eighths? No. Because four over four is equal to what? One. One whole. This is equal to a half. Okay. Is five uh, six greater than one six? Say it again. What? Yes. Again, denominators are the same. So is five greater than the one? Yes. Okay. Uh, which fraction names uh, an amount that is less than the fraction shown by the shaded part? So. What's the fraction for that right there? Anybody? What? Four six. So it says. Uh, so which of these fractions is less than this? Yes. Okay. Because this okay is equal to one and uh, one and one third. Okay. This is equal to two. Because 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then 5, it says, Paul uh, bakes his small pie. That's this guy right here. Okay, the shaded part of the model shows how much of the pie Paul eats. Uh, Mia uh, bakes a pie that, has a, that it's the same size as Paul's, but she uh, um, she ate how much? Five what? She ate five six. And Paul ate how much? Five eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Five eights. Okay? You have to explain to me who ate more pie. So based on that, who ate more pie? And Elise? Please. Thank you. And you tell me why. And by the way, one, two, this, we did this before already. All right? Remember what they did? So for one and two, you have to give me the one circle, the one that's greater, correct? So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's three eights. Here I have one, two, three, four, five. That's five eighths. Which one's greater, three eighths or five eighths? That's what it's asking you to do. Okay. But for three and four, I have to label circle which which one? The one that's less. Same thing here. Instead of instead of a pie, okay, or a model, I have what? Number lines. See, one half is this, and here's one eighth. It says which one's less. Which one am I going to call it? Circle. Everybody, over here. One eighth. And this one says find a fraction that is less than five eighths. Oh, did I just do that? Draw a model to support your work. So what do you think, what kind of model am I going to use? I would, but can you use this? Can you use this model? Yeah. Just divide it up into uh, eights. One, two, three, four. Now we need seven lines, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
And I'm going to shade how much? Five eighths. So one, two, three, four, five. But I, I need to find a fraction that's less than that, right? So what could be uh, something that's less than five eighths? What? Four eighths. What else? Three eighths. Could be three eighths. What else? Two eighths. Two eighths. It says to find a fraction, so I'll need one. Is this right? Six eighths? No. And then again, this one right here. It says write a fraction that is greater than three three six that has the same denominator. It's similar to this, okay? But now we're using instead of eights, we're using what? Marcus? Excuse me? Sixth. Okay. So something that's greater than three six. What would it be? Four six. Four six. What else? Five six. Five, six. What else? Six, six, six. Yes. Is this right? No. Nope. That's less than. I don't want less than. I want greater than. 